long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Hello and welcome again to Proverbial Wisdom and thank you again for allowing me to join you for these few moments of reflection on God's Word as we're looking at what Solomon has written and Solomon has collected and Solomon shares with us about being a better people of God. We are in Proverbs chapter 30 and there's a lot in Proverbs 30 as, as far as trying to put things together and, and breaking this chapter up into smaller bits and there's a lot that we have looked at. We have been in chapter 30 for a few days now and we're really just now to, to verse 10. So Proverbs 30 and verse 10. Do not slander a servant to his master, lest he curse you and you be guilty. There are those who curse their fathers, and do not bless their mothers. There are those who are clean in their own eyes, but they are not washed to their filth. There are those, how lofty are their eyes, how high their eyelids lift. There are those whose teeth shine like swords, and whose fangs are knives, to devour the poor off the earth, the needy from among mankind. Let's stop there for just a moment. Because as I, I'm looking at what Solomon is saying here, and I'm going to pick up with verse 15 tomorrow, because even though I think it continues with the same thought, I want to separate it out. But as I'm looking, what popped in my mind as I was reading those things, the, the devotional thought that, that, that I started reflecting on was words. The words that I speak. Have you ever thought about what you say and how it impacts others and how others think of you because of what you say? Look again at the, the first section that we read there, verse 10. Do not slander a servant to his master, lest he curse you and you be held guilty. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. Our words matter. We need to be careful about the things that we say and and check ourselves as to why we are wanting to say the things that we say. We may decide that it's best just to hold our tongue. And we may decide it's best not to say anything at all, but just to listen and observe. And then if asked, share, but don't volunteer information that is going to tear people down. Find ways to be an encouragement. Look at how he describes these people. They're clean in their own eyes, but they haven't washed away their filth. You think everything's together. You think you're portraying to the world that, that you're clean, that, that you're innocent. But people can see through that. If you're not being someone who's lifting others up, the people don't see you as that great person. They see you as, well, let's use the Greek word, a jerk. So let's be kind. Let's use our words to encourage and to build up. There are those, how lofty their eyes, their eyelids lift, but their teeth are like swords and they're like fangs. They're destroying. They, they think that they've got everybody fooled. But they're the fools. Because the righteous, the good, the prudent see through it. And they're not those people that others want to be around because they devour the poor, they destroy the needy. They're focused only on themselves and lifting themselves up and trying to make themselves look good. And why Solomon is sharing this with us is so that we learn not to be like these people. That we're not one who is always critical and always condemning but we're the ones who find ways to build up, to compliment, to praise, to bring people closer to God. So as we've been talking about wisdom, as we've been talking about discernment and prudence throughout the book of Proverbs, let's use that wisdom. Let's discern how to be Barnabases, to build people up, to be sons of encouragement. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your love for us. And Father, when we stop to think about what you did for us 
as Paul would write Romans, while we were weak, while we were still sin sinners, while, while we were your enemies, that you did the most encouraging thing that could be done. You gave your son to die in our place. Father, help us to think about that encouragement as we look to others, even those that would pull us down, even those that would hurt us, that we find ways to be an encouragement to everyone around us as much as possible. Help us to be people who do our part to live at peace. Father, forgive us when we become selfish. Forgive us when we become like the world and help us to use better judgment and use your wisdom. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you for this moment of devotional thought. I look forward to these. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Until then, my prayer is, well, as always, that God will bless your day.